Hey there, it's time for Full Circle here on Sister Circle Live. Tammy Roman is in the yes, building. She is. <laughs> she is in for our sister Trina Braxton, who is traveling, and we have truly enjoyed you yes, thus far. Yes, I think mm -hmm. I can just sit down at your feet and just talk <laughs> and all, day, all <laughs> the day. Right, I'll just be on the receiving end of just <laughs> greatness. You, you just <laughs> like shade. You addicted to shade. I do, because I don't participate in it. <laughs> so it's just real so fun. Real fun. Real fun. <laughs> so this is Full Circle, where we talk about something that we really like. And hopefully it uh, resonates with you. Of course, the news of Cardi B and Offset's breakup came as a shock to so yes, many people. Is. While others say, honey, we're doomed from the beginning. <laughs> but either that's way, so, that's so sad to say about somebody. Tell me off the chain already. Yes. Down to the, to the but, end of the table. Yes, it's going to be hard either way for these two, especially during the holidays, if they truly are broken up. So have you ever experienced you know, being on the receiving end of a breakup where someone broke up with you or you broke with someone and what was that holiday season Girl like for you? You said if they, was, if they truly are. All right. Yes. I mean, come on, guys. The people are starting early. We are Let's starting early. Right. <laughs> Anybody had a breakup during the holiday season and how do you recover? What do you do? What's up? I have not. I have not. I have not had a breakup during the holiday yeah. season. Not at all. Um, well, well, hold up, y'all. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm in the process of getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. um, you know, recently, it, it was turbulent in the beginning, I got to tell you, it was very tough. Uh, at some point, I thought that I was like lonely, mm -hmm. and then I said, God changed my perspective. And he said, No, Miss Quad, you're not lonely, you're at peace. Mm -hmm. So I think that helped me to get along um, through some of the darkest days. Yeah. Uh, now, my husband and I kind of correspond here and there. Uh, so, you know, but uh, this will be the first holiday at Christmas without him in, oh, wow. yeah, in, in, in about, ooh, maybe eight years? Yeah. Yeah, and us being married for close to six. So so you ha you didn't really think about it, so obviously it I didn't, didn't. It, has, it hasn't really affected you that way, or you hadn't thought about well, it. Well, I just hadn't thought about it. I just mm -hmm. hadn't thought about it. I think, uh, you know, but, but it's going to be okay, because I got all of my family members right, coming in town. Right. I'm hosting Christmas this year. Mm -hmm. uh, my fa family, <laughs> they're big fun. We uh, really love the holidays and spending time with each other, so it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving, I had, you know, spent time with Selena, so that was great. You know, mm -hmm. she invited me over to the house, and then um, uh, I went by my other girlfriend's house, Abigail. So mm -hmm. uh, I just got to tell you all, I'm so grateful for your friendships mm -hmm. and for the relationships that I have with my family that you guys have kind of come in and just rallied around me. Right. Where at times, just like now, you didn't even I know. almost <laughs> forgot that I was getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I didn't think of it that I'll be, you know, without right. him this, this Christmas mm -hmm. holiday. Wow. wow. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's good. That means that it's not as you know, hurtful. You won't have yeah. to. You know, you you you're you're mindful of your healing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's real good. Yeah. You know, it it is healing season for me. I think, uh, and I, I said this once before. Uh, we recently filmed the reunion for Married to Medicine. You guys, it is electric. Um, <laughs> but there was a point in that reunion where I think it was therapeutic for myself and it was free for my husband because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he and I had an opportunity to sit down and kind of go over some things only you know uninterrupted with just myself and him and Andy Cohen okay so yeah well, yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you what I, I haven't had an actual breakup down to the Christmas okay but I definitely was in the midst of a of a moment where I knew it was getting ready to be a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, then. What brought the break up on? all the way back to college, okay? Because okay. Kiwan isn't my first husband. Let's okay. just be very mm -hmm. clear. My first husband, I got married when I was still in college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we had this one Christmas that was so wild. Mm -hmm. What happened? We were so poor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, girl. That I was, still, I was writing checks, like, just to get food. Oh, wow. Down to the Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know, I keep it 100. I don't care. Yeah, right. But the checks well, we, were going to bounce? The, the checks was definitely going to bounce. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what she meant. That's what they she probably, meant. They yeah, probably they still bouncing and ricocheting down, mm -hmm. down to that bank. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I don't even know if my name is probably good in that system. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of checks. Uh -huh. Now, what's crazy is I spent all my money, um, and we were in college and young, so it's, this is no shade to him, because okay. we was both dumb. But I spent all my money trying to, you know, buy him gifts 
and he really didn't have much because we were college students yeah, and we ended up not having no money left. Mm -hmm. So we was down to like this Christmas tree. I had all decorated child. <laughs> We was down to the Christmas real poor. Ooh. So it was a very sad, <laughs> we just stayed in the house, girl, and just played Scrabble. <laughs> and just figured it out. You know? Sometimes but I those are the best times. This is a precursor yeah. of the next year. Yeah. And I can't go into this year like this. Yeah. Right. So I knew, okay, we probably ain't going to work. It's not going to work. We yeah, probably ain't going to work. It's the precursor yeah. for the break up next Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. We there you go. Make it. Yeah, there you like, go. But he was a good, he's a good person, though. Okay. He's a good person. I don't want anyone to think that, you know, I'm shading him, mm -hmm. but that was a tough Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. You don't move down now. Uh, Tammy? Well, I think that people, you know, during this time of year, just figure out what you are in the relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, long-lasting mm -hmm. relationships like you have, it's good to hear that you guys sat down, you talked. I'm really ha happy to hear yeah. that. And, you know, like, you're not even aware of it now. You're able to move mm -hmm. on and have mm -hmm. peace. Yours was unacceptable. Mm -hmm. So you're not moving on. <laughs> and, and, then, and then there are those cuffing season girls. Yeah. You know what I'm Y'all should be expecting a breakup mm -hmm. because he only got with you right around September, October. Mm -hmm. You've been single for about three, four years. Mm -hmm. Nobody's wanted you since then. Oh, my and, God. Um, he just <laughs> Hit you with the hey stranger, yeah. you know, the hey stranger, and he's back in your life. He will undoubtedly be gone by December the 22nd. <laughs> so, so you don't even no have to worry about it. And, no, it's not going to happen for yeah, you, sis. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so, what he just wanted to just cut yeah. a little affection yeah. and then he, get he out of there. He builds a high. Uh -huh. He figured he could be at your place, he could get a good meal, you know. Treat you like a housewarming, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he got a couple oh. other pieces. He probably got a couple other girls that's yeah. Yeah. sprinkled around. Also in the cuffin <laughs> concept. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know, women, a, a notice on the women do the same thing, though. Women do the same thing. We gangster, too. Like, yeah, we'll get somebody yeah. just for the meantime and just be like, oh, it's coming I've up. I've never been that type of girl. Mm. I really have to be interested in yeah. it. Yeah. Because, you know. Well, Things that's too much TMI. You know, and then that's too I feel everybody else cheating on mine. Yes. You know, all of that, you don't want to be messing with people just yeah. to mess with people, you know. Yeah. You didn't know me yeah, in my Yeah, that's 20s. what I said. <laughs> you didn't know me in my 20s. There's nothing left. I'm saying, like, whoa, shiny, shiny. Okay. <laughs> Tell us how you feel about our, uh, you know, our uh, full circle. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV <laughs> on our social media platforms. <laughs>